Hey, how are you? I am sorry, I am a little late. Had the grandsons overnight and they're leaving now. So let's get started. Today we are stitching on this gnome with glasses. It is from Cute Broidery on Etsy. She is a ton of gnomes. I keep finding more and more gnomes. So we're just going to stitch and chat. Let's see, I might need to move the camera some more. I don't know, I don't want you to see the pattern. So yeah, let's see here. This has one symbol that has two colors blended together. And let's go up another one. So it is also my readathon weekend for Shadow Lounge monthly readathon on Facebook. But um I didn't get much done because I ended up having my grandsons. So they ended up getting dropped off here at three in the afternoon yesterday. So I said, come on, let's go to Wegmans and get some groceries. I said you guys can pick out what you want for snacks and for eating. Did that. Came home, we had dinner. And it's funny because they wanted candy. So well, you guys have to agree on candy. Well, they couldn't. Carson would pick something else. Blake didn't like it. Blake would pick something else. Carson didn't want that. So finally, I ended up giving in and letting them pick their own. Carson just wanted gum. So he bought like the three pack, four pack or whatever of juicy fruit gum. And Blake got Starburst, which I stole a little bit of it and put it in a little baggie because I like Starburst. Hey do have a YouTube channel, as most of you know, and I did not get a floss tube up this week. I was stitching on that Spring Angel. I ended up changing my goal on Whipco. Technically, I was told I did do a quarter of it. So my goal was to do a quarter of it, and I had half done. I thought I had half of it done, so I was doing the other quarter, but nope. I ended up having to still stitch a lot in the other half and then fixing a lot of the stitching I had already done. So, um, I changed the goal to stitch on it for seven days. But Danielle said technically I did work on a quarter of it because if you take what I did and fixed and all that it was a quarter of it and i'm like okay so then this was next and i only got what two and a half hours stitched on this and this is part of my no new starts 22 um but i'm doing the whip work your whips so if I finish one whip I can start another one and it has to be the same size or smaller so every month I am stitching up a gnome I figured I would take it into next year but I don't know about that I really I think next year I want to focus more on what I've already have started and finish them so 
I'm thinking of um, like my big ass projects, like my lawn dog sampler and my hades, and I have an owl beaded cross stitch kit. Hi, Danielle. How are you? Sorry, I'm a little late. Those um, Dylan got here right as I would have started streaming, but I was talking to him and yeah. So working on this gnome and I did not get much done on it yesterday because I had the boys and was in, there's a private diamond painting event and I was in there because the boys were here. Doing a little paperwork. You're not in your Zoom. Or diamond painting. I, I might be in later today. I'm not sure. I have a lot of TV shows to watch today, too. I still have to watch Friday's General Hospital. And Thursday, I need to... Or today, I need to watch Thursday's Walker, Station 19, Grey's Anatomy. And then I have last night's Hallmark movie. But I'm babysitting all, most of the week. So I'll be listening to books more and stitching at their house. Okay. Hi, Suzanne. No, I started like 15 minutes late because I had my grandsons here. They spent the night. So what is everybody doing today? Suzanne, do you just do puzzles? I can't remember if you said you did do other crafts or you just do puzzles. You know, I'm at this point where I've got all this stuff I want to start and it's like, no, you got to finish some things. So I did make a skinny notebook out of a big planner that was um, on clearance a few years ago and it's an old one. It was like from... 2018, I think. So I cut the papers in half. I cut the cover in half. And so I made this my whip go. Whatever was on my whip go, besides my hade, well, the one hade, but you know, my lawn dog sampler, and that's not on here. Good morning, Robert. How was your birthday? So, like, if this isn't done by the end of the year, this is what I will focus on in January next year. Once that's done, I focus on this till it's done. Then, the, So, each one I will focus on next year until it's done. So, I am changing things up a little bit. They will also go on my WIPCO board next year, but... Yeah. You're itching to start your New York stitch? You should. Do you have a goal set? Or is it on your Whipco board? I'm blending my two threads. was fun some from Amazon from my mom cool so Suzanne cross stitches colors puzzle hidden object games plastic canvas butchilla slow typing <laughs> slow typing 
So, yeah. I did, I got a whole row done on my diamond painting yesterday. I may come in for an hour later today. I don't even know if I will get much reading in because I really want to get these TV shows watched and the movie watched. So tomorrow, all I have to watch is the movie that's on tonight on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Then I was watching this morning um, people's craft rooms on YouTube. And then I, I, I did a search on YouTube for cross stitch rooms so some of the floss tubers did tours of their cross stitch rooms and I'm just getting ideas because you know this room is a mess I tried organizing it and I am getting ideas because it is a small room And I do have a cabinet that has a lot of jewelry making stuff in it. I do not make jewelry anymore. I do want to keep, like, the jewelry findings, like the lobster clasps and chains and my tools in case I need to repair jewelry I have. Other than that, I am hoping to um, find someone... To either give it to or to sell all my beads. And then the other part of that cabinet has all my Mill Hill beads. And I'm getting ready to organize them better as well. Um, Amanda bought me the Elizabeth Ward bead storage system that I wanted. And so I need to do that. And I don't know when I will get to that. What else? Nothing else going on. You have cats to take care of. Don't ask how many. I love them all. Well, as long as you're taking care of them, that's all that matters. Two. So, yep, yeah, I have two colors blended. And I'm liking this. So I did get in some um, mail haul this week. So I will have a floss tube video this week. I just didn't have anything really to talk about or to show last week. But I do. I will this week. I do plan on doing live streams on YouTube Tuesday and Thursday. My normal times for coloring and diamond painting. And, um, if I want to be an affiliate for Twitch, I need to stream like seven times a month, which right now I was just doing Sundays. So I might have to find another day of the week, maybe at night. But I really don't have 
any night that I could do it. This Monday night, Crystal usually has her live stream on Mondays for Planner Monday. Tuesday, I have my live, and Thursday, I have my live. So that would leave maybe a Wednesday evening. Hi, Amanda. How are you? So I could do another Wednesday Twitch. Um, I don't know if it would be two hours or one hour. Waking up. My body is yelling at me from all the driving yesterday. Okay. Think. Let's see. Three. So what's on your agendas today? I know um, Danielle said she's doing paperwork. And I keep getting a knot in this. Driving and watching out for Zach. Yeah, I'm sure. I am sure. So, yeah, getting organizing. Man, oh, yeah, it's today's Sunday. It's craft and clean day. I'm not doing that today. I think what I want to do is, like, go to the Dollar Tree and see what they have for organizing for in here, like, um drawer container that I can put up here to store like my pens my everyday pens and I saw some cuter magazine racks than what I use that I would like to store up here on the table I need this table's always a mess Always, no matter, I can turn around, I can clean this table off, and an hour later, it's going to be a mess again. So, I need to see what I can find there. And they showed like a, um, a what do you call it? It's not the dish rack you put put in the sink but it's kind of like they called it a kitchen rack but it was like a dish rack it was different anyways that's what she put all her folders in and i'm like that's what i need up here so i want to look for that and she said she got it at the dollar tree And then she had these little tabletop drawer things, and I think she said she got those at the Dollar Tree, too. Got five more colors to do on the hummingbirds. Woohoo! Yeah, I kept saying, okay, if I go to the Dollar Tree, I hate where the parking is, and I'm like, duh, I'll go to the one in Geneseo because. That's a huge parking lot. So I'll check that one out first. I don't know where the one is in Henrietta. I just know where the one is in Batavia. I know I've been seen the one in Henrietta. I just can't remember where it is or if it moved.
So yeah, lots of ideas. Lots of ideas to make my shelves look neater behind me just by using those canvas bins or drawers. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. Dollar Tree hacks. Oh, I mean, okay, they weren't all Dollar Tree. She used Ikea and other stuff too. And I unpin, I, I was, I don't remember her name. I guess I'd have to go into YouTube under likes. Is that how you find out the last few videos you liked? Because I watched it before I came on here. She did use a lot of Ikea stuff as well, but she also used stuff from the Dollar Tree. And you could do like scrapbook paper and all that. <laughs> oh, my, me too, Amanda. I just, you know, I have small spaces. I need to organize better. This room you know I get this room really nice and then it's a mess again and like I said an hour or two later no my mom came over Thursday and she came in here to see my new carpet I said the room's a mess again I can't keep it organized I don't have I do want to get um Oh, so my friend Lisa gave me like this bamboo thing that holds your paintbrushes and you roll it. But I think I want to put it in like a pretty glass or something to keep up here on the table. My paintbrushes, I think that'll look better. I do have all my watercolors in one of those canvas bins. And I do have a rollaway cart with the big plastic. Um, they're they're a drawer, but they're also a they're kind of flat, not totally flat, but it comes right out. And all my scrapbook stuffs in that, and my stickers, some of my the loose stickers I have. your room every day is yeah and you have kids that I can understand but it's just me and Scott go under history of what I watched that's what I thought I'll do that I keep catching my nail on the edge of the magnetic board This uh, pattern calls for DMC 310, and it shows a symbol. There is no symbol for it that I can find anywheres on here. There's no black anywheres on this pattern. Not unless it was, oh, maybe she put it there because it's for um, back stitching. Oh, your craft room's like that, and it's a kid-free zone. Yeah, my craft room, nobody else comes in here either. It's just me, and yeah. I don't have... I'd like a different table in here so that I could store... Hold on. I could store, like, one of those three-drawer things underneath the table, but this table is a folding table so the folding part would block me being able to put anything under it i do have a footstool under the table that has a lid to it and that's where all my whip go pieces are going my whip go projects that i'm not going to be working on the rest of the year so like um i kept out giggles in the snow because I know I'll keep working on him this year. But the other ones 
that I know I probably won't get to this year unless I finish Giggles in the Snow. Those are all being stored in that. And they're not in my way. And actually, I could fit two more of these underneath this table if I needed to. And they're easy to pull right out. But like um, the one that's in front of me, I still have room to spread out my legs underneath the table. The length of the table's fine. It just doesn't give me a lot of room underneath because of the folding part of the table. You made all your Christmas ornaments. Yeah, I, I made a lot of ornaments in the past. That I got um, two charts in the mail the other day. I really want to start, but I can't. And I've got Glendon Place Sleepy Hollow that I want to start, and I can't. So my goal, I have to really stick to my goal of trying to finish everything I have started by the end of next year, but not including Hades and the Lawn Dog Sampler because those are bigger projects in the Owl Beaded Kit. But anything other than those, yeah. And then next year, I do have other Hades started, but they did not get added to this year's Whipco or the 22 New Starts. And I could actually... You've got mail. I might be able to put on... The 22 new starts. I, I do have a couple of smaller Hades started. So once I finish that fly butterfly, I have a Jasmine Beckett Griffith that's a Faces of Fairy. And there's a lot of that already done. And if that's the same size or smaller than the fly butterfly, I could... Add that into my rotation this year. Really, Amanda, you have more started. See, you, the whip go, you can use for your diamond paintings. They said you can use it for any of your crafts. It's just with the cross stitch group, you can only use the whip go in that group. But personally, because I, I should have done coloring. I have a lot of colored pages, st excuse me, started that I could have done a color in Whipco board, but I only have two, well now three. I have three diamond painting whips, but one is only because I ran out of one color and I'm getting it from Deborah. And the other one I'm waiting for my glue to come in because the glue on it sucks. And I took pictures and I told the company about it and I guess they don't really care. So I'm going to have to use glue because I really want to finish it. And then my current whip. So, you know, I really, I try not to have too many going. Yeah, you could do that on your whip go. I mean, you could give yourself... Small goals for January, February, March, and this month to meet the requirement. Because you can make any goal you want. So you could take one whip and say, okay, this month for this diamond painting, I'm going to do two squares. Or maybe one row. If it's ton of black, if it's a ton of color blocking in a row, I would put down a row. So you could actually do that for diamond painting. But I have quite a few coloring pages started that I could write down um, all the colored pages I have started. And don't forget, if you have... 
You know, say you only have five or ten diamond painting whips. You can put the same whip down a couple times on the whip go board. It doesn't have to be just one time. They can be put down for a couple times. You make a new one with small goals. Right, that's what I'm saying. It is only April. So if you do small goals and say you set aside one whole day a month where you're just going to diamond paint, you could probably meet all of the all of January, February, and March. You might be able to meet them all in one day. I like the idea of having a diamond painting weekend every month, just a private one. <laughs> no, this is a 28 count. I don't really do 18 count, Robert. This is 28. And it's Monaco, and it's just a light blue color. I don't know. I've had this. You, I've got yards of it. I have yards of this color. So, yeah, I have lots of ideas, and I like to be organized, and I like lists. So, the Whipco and the 22 new, No New Starts was perfect for me. And technically, I probably could still do a Whipco board with my color in. Because we have a color in weekend coming up. So I could finish them. Okay. Yeah, see? Maybe like the first weekend of the month so I could join in. Although we are doing the color in one. I don't know. We will have to figure that out every month. Because we have the cross stitch weekend. And I have the readathon weekend. See, Danielle likes that idea. <laughs> Danielle's been getting her, her diamond paintings back out. I like it that you just did it Saturday and Sunday instead of Friday because of people that work. The Whipco weekend. They do have a Whipco weekend. It's actually, I believe, this weekend. Where you focus on your whip goes. It's for the people that are doing whip go for cross stitching. They actually, they actually call it whip go weekend where you focus mainly on your two whip goes for the month. They do that. I don't know if they have a zoom or anything though. But yeah, if you didn't want to do a diamond painting weekend and just want to do a whip go weekend and we focus on whatever whip go we want, could do that too. But I do like the idea of a diamond painting weekend because I have like 60 of them sitting here. <laughs> And then I don't even know what to do with them all once they're done.
<laughs> Amanda says she has too many to count. Well, I'm hoping to get like all my Sheena Pikes done this year or try into because I started my Sheena Pike along. Year, year of Sheena. I think that's the hashtag. Hashtag year of Sheena. Any Sheena Pike. Then we have all the cross stitch stuff. Which I do have. If anybody watches this back. Doesn't know. I have a lawn dog sampler stitch along going on. And that's hashtag lawn dog lawn 22. And Amanda has the 22 stash be gone on Facebook. And that's to work on the stash you already have. Hence why I'm really not starting anything new that I purchased this year. You so badly want to jump into one of those. Do you have any of them started that is a whip? Any Sheena Pike even from like Diamond Art Club? Just start one. Add it to your whip go. And you on your whip go it could be... Um, actually on your whip go you could put... A Sheena Pike down for a new start. Just to start it. Oh, of course not. Okay, I'm done with this symbol for now because I'm trying to get this and then I got to move my Q snap up so I'm trying to just finish this area first just one start that's right but like if we do just a Friday and a Saturday for the um, diamond painting events. That doesn't go on that one. Um, just take one whip. And work on it just one whole day. And then take another whip and work on that another whole day. And just maybe alternate those two just on the diamond painting events. And see um, how much you can get done on those two. It's just an idea. I'm always coming up with ideas. And I'm constantly changing my rotation, but I can't this year because of the whip go and the 22 no new starts. Need to have a cup of tea. Just, I need to do a series of listening and crafting. See, I love listening to my books and crafting. Yes. And what kind of books do you like to listen to? I do. I love. So this week I'm going to Dylan's house to babysit. Because they don't have school. There's no sense in waking them up early to bring them here. Um, they usually sleep in late. But this morning they were awake at 8 o'clock. I could hear the TV on. I'm like, oh, the boogers are awake. Because I woke up at 2.30 to go to the bathroom. Then I let the dog out. And then I couldn't fall back to sleep. So I came in here. Well, I took my phone in the family room where they were sleeping. And I put the flashlight on it so I could bring this cross-stitch stuff in here. Because 
all of this was on my love seat and Carson was sleeping on the love seat and he, he moved all my cross stitch stuff. I'm like, oh crap. He moved my stuff. So I was in there with just the little flashlight on my phone. Okay. Um, maybe I should just do that color first. Okay, let's do that color first. So, yeah, I wanted to make sure that nothing got ruined. And I knew that my this floss box was not, it was closed, but I didn't have the tabs locked. So I'm like, crap. I hope he didn't dump them. But no, he had set them on top of my laptop, and the laptop was closed. And he had the chart on top of the laptop. So, you know, he he could have came in here and asked me. I didn't know he was going to sleep there. I thought he was going to sleep in the recliner. Romance, some mystery, and some fantasy. Okay, that's like, I like to read that too, and I love psychological thrillers. But sometimes they put me in a bad mood because I get so angry with, with whoever's the bad person is. And, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I like to read. Um, the romance, they got to have a little bit of sex in them, though. I like them with a little bit of sex in them, I'm not going to lie. It means, you know, like um, Debbie McComer, hers are fine. Hers are fun to read. They don't have any sex in them. Yeah, murder mysteries, yeah. Co I like cozy mysteries, too. Some historical romance I like. I like them with um, the Scotlands, the Scottish guys in their kilts. <laughs> I like those. Okay, you're going to focus again? Focus. Come on. Maybe it will. Is it Lisa Clippis? Yeah, I think I know who you mean. Yeah, I think I think I know who you mean. She's like a historical, and I don't usually like those, but I think if that's the one I'm thinking of, I really liked her books, and I was surprised. And then there's another one that was a historical romance type book and historical fiction. And I know I like the super steamy ones. They're really good. So I read one. I kept putting it off and putting it off and ended up giving it five star. And that was called The Paris Seamstress. That was an awesome book. Yeah, I like Ellen Hillebrand too. Yep, yeah, I've read a couple of hers. Of course, James Patterson, um, J.D. Robb, Nora Roberts. You know, all the top authors, John Sanford, Lee Child, and for Cozy Mysteries, I like Leslie Meyer, um, Janice, I can't remember her name now, Diane Mott-Davidson. 
Um, and then there's another Leslie Meyer. Who's the other one? Joanne Fluke, Joanna Carl. Those are all really good too. Those are all cozy mysteries. And those are fast to read. I love Danielle Steele. S some books more than others. Um, for romance, Sarah Richardson, Miranda Liaison. There is so many that I get from Grand Central Publishing for their Forever line that I absolutely love. Amy Jarecki, she's does the um the Scottish Highlanders. But yeah, definitely love to listen to them while I'm stitching. I also like to watch YouTube videos while I'm stitching or diamond painting. Um TV. I just don't have enough hours in the day to do it all. <laughs> you know, if before Zooms, I would get it all done because um, I would watch some YouTube. But I would read or listen to books all day. And then in the evenings, I watched TV. But I'm in Zoom too much. So I don't get everything done I want. <laughs> Amanda says she's so far behind on her TV shows. Yep. We just want to do it all. And you work and raise kids. So this week I'll be up at 6 o'clock and out, out the door around 6.30. So when I get to Dylan's, I can watch a few YouTube videos while I cross stitch in the morning and then switch over to a book because I babysit until four o'clock. So I'm there all day. I can get a lot done and I don't plan on going into Zoom while I'm there because I'm just taking my tablet and focusing on my stitching and my books. Um, they are going back with their mom on thir Thursday, I was told, but I don't know what time. And I don't know if I will have my Zoom Wednesday because I will be at their house. Once summertime comes, though, I will bring them here. And I could bring them here Wednesday once they wake up because my Zoom's not till 1 o'clock. So I actually could bring them here. And do my Zoom. And Dylan would come and pick them up here from me. Okay, where am I on this? Two, one, two, three, and then here. Okay. No, that doesn't look right, does it? Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
So we have One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. K. Okay. Yeah, I have a wheel app on my phone, and I have probably 50 TV shows that have been recommended to me to binge watch. How the hell do you do all that, too, while, yeah, <laughs> I can't do that either. I don't know. I'll have to think about another Twitch stream during the week. Because I know it would not be Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have to think about it. So the needle I am using, I am not sure where it's from. I will show you my needle case. So I store my needles in this. I don't remember where I got it from. But... It's got a picture of drink and food, so it must have been for something. And my needles are in here. I have my needle threader. These are big ass needles that I don't use. Um, my beaded needles are in this. And I think I have some of the long ones that are really pointed, but mostly the shorter ones that are blunt. I keep in there. And then I have these, they have magnets on the back. This one's empty, and they are Loran. They're the same brand as um, my magnet board. And then this one has some of my size, I think, 24 and 26 needles. These have my 26, 28 needles. And then I have this real pretty one that has my, my, my favorite needles, the, the ballpoint needles are in here. My short needles, which are, um, what are they called? Yeah. And um, my gold-plated needles. So th these are like my favorites. So right now I am trying to use up the ones in here until they get worn. And then I'm just throwing them out. So this go I have um, a Donna Sharp. I love Donna Sharp purses and bags. And I have one of her utility bags. And that's where I store all my stuff. And if I'm traveling with my cross stitch, it all goes in this bag. And it has lots of pockets in it too. It even has room, you know, like if you have a water bottle... So I like that. And then I have another pouch that I won that is a um, Vera Bradley. I am not a Vera Bradley fan, but I do love Donna Sharp. I like her designs much better. I'm not into paisley and polka dots. I snapped one Thursday. Yep, see, they get worn down. They do get worn down, especially if I'm doing like a haid and I've used the same needle forever. Yeah, they get worn down. Just throw it out. Don't even worry about it because needles are replaceable. And especially if you're starting to 
stock up on the ballpoint needles. And that's all you want to use from now on. Use up your old ones. I'm not using my ballpoint needles right now. I did use them at first to make sure I liked them. But I put them in that little pretty one. And I'm not touching those until I've used up all my needles. And it may take me a while. But that's okay. I have lots of projects. And, you know, I have a lot of projects that are bigger that even if I didn't wear it down all the way, I'll throw it out anyways when I'm done with that project. You like the Vera Bradley? Yeah. See, I'm a Donna Sharp. I really, but, and I don't like florals, but Donna Sharp has some really pretty ones. She does, um... And hers are cheaper than Vera Bradley. But I've had my utility bag at least 10 years. And I got it at um, a store at Broadway on the beach in Myrtle Beach. They had Donna Sharp. As one of my cross-stitch friends, had, we were at a retreat in Myrtle Beach. And she, I loved, she had the purse in this design. And I said, where did you get that? And she said, it's a Donna Sharp. And I said, I never heard of Donna Sharp. Well, we happened to be shopping at Broadway at the beach. And I saw a sign in the window that said Donna Sharp. So I walked in and I saw this utility bag and I fell in love with it. And it's big and roomy. And when I go to cross-stitch retreats, because I don't go, whenever I went to the retreats, I never flew. I always rode with friends. So I could take my big utility bag. But on a plane, it's, I'm not going to be able to do that. Which is why I prefer traveling, because then I don't have to worry about luggage. And um, I would like to drive to um, Missouri, but that's like a 14... I looked it up, and it's a 14-hour trip. And... <clears throat> My car is a 2007, and it's running good, but Dylan and Scott don't trust my car for me to drive it that far. They'd rather I got a rental, and it's like, well, and I don't like city driving, so if I had to drive through a city, I would be white-knuckled. I'd be okay if I had someone that was riding with me or that could share the driving. But, yeah, 14 hours, that's going to be like a, a two-day trip for me. Unless we split up, you know, I split up the driving with someone. Because I've done six hours driving straight through somewhere. I don't know if I could do more than that. And I'm not good at nighttime driving if I don't know where I am. My eyesight is not. And I know a lot of women that are like that with the nighttime driving when they got older. You know, if I'm on a, like an, an uh, expressway. And I could stay on that through a city. I would be fine because I could stay in one lane and not worry about it. I just have to worry about it when I have to get off to like use a restroom or get gas in my car. I know, right, Amanda? I wish I was like that. My anxiety, I, you are crazy woman. <laughs> flight price and try to book the first week in May for summer vacation oh 
See, Amanda, I like driving country driving. I don't like city driving. I can do small town driving, but as far as like major cities, no. Small cities I can do, but yeah, not, not a city driver. And I'm better if I have someone with me, and I love to have my stereo on loud to crank up the music. Yeah, not good driving. Um, I don't drive in the snow at all. Watch flight price. So where are you going for summer vacation? Danielle. You're not camping? You're going somewhere instead? See, I used to do the um, Mirabilia retreat that Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics, she used to put them on in Ohio. I went three or four years in a row. And I always rode with a friend to Ohio, and um, that's like a six to eight hour drive. So I've done that, and then the Myrtle Beach one I did for many years. And I rode with friends to that. I never flew. You may plan a weekend to a cabin and just... See, I would love to do that. Just craft all weekend, just with a couple of friends, some candles lit some wine or beer whatever we want for that day yes that's yeah I would love that I don't need to be around a lot of people you know have a crock pot put food in it in the morning it'll be ready at night or an in instant pot or whatever, and everybody share. You know, if if we're together for three days, everybody shares something. I know we were talking about that last night. That's my idea, but I, you know, everybody's always like further away from me. Nobody does this kind of stuff on the East Coast. It's always like Texas and all out that way. I need more out this way. For someone who doesn't drive. <laughs> Much. <laughs> we got wine. We got wineries around here. Vineyards. We go to the New York Vineyard. Yep. See? We've got Bully Hill, we have, um, oh my gosh, we have Deer Run Winery, which I go to, that's not too far from me. Um, I can't even name them all because I'm, I'm drawing a blank. And I haven't even been the ones that are more towards Buffalo area. I've been all around the Finger Lakes. Okay, back to this color. See, we could go to the Naples Festival that's in September, the end of September, there's a Naples festival and they have all kinds of grapes, the Concord grapes. Those are my favorite. And then they've got all kinds of wine tasting and um, tents set up at, what is that? 
something cat. What I can't remember the name of it. It's a whole week. It's Friday or Saturday and Sunday. Scott has taken me a couple times. They got grape pies. Everything has to do with grapes. But they've got um, wineries for that. Okay. Yeah, we should do that because. Um, yeah, just have a small group of us. That'd be fun. See, we have ideas. We just need to get motivated and do it. <laughs> you know, meet somewhere. Somewhere's halfway for us. Although, Danielle, I think you mentioned the Tennessee mountains. I'm like, yeah, that wouldn't be far from my sister-in-law. To have Scott take the time off, he can drop me off to you guys and he can go visit his sister. <laughs> the, the thing with that is, though, Dylan doesn't have a backup babysitter and I'm the only babysitter he has. So I have to give him, if I'm going to do something like in the fall, then I have to let him know in January so he can get the time off. Because it's not fun just take doing it on like a, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's fun to do it for a whole week. Because then you can do maybe take a day off for some sightseeing. So yeah, that's that's an idea and you know, see how many of us are going, how many rooms you would need. See, Danielle agrees. Monday through Friday. We will have to look into that. Because even if we did it Monday through Friday... You know, Scott and I could always take off and go to his sister's for the weekend so I could see them and then head to the cabin. I don't know, so many ideas. So many ideas. Hopefully in a better uh, financial situation next year. <laughs> it's 
and I do railroad my stitches. That's why you see me. I'm not fighting to find the hole. I am trying to get the needle between the two threads because I try to railroad as much as possible. And that's putting the um, needle between the two threads. Anybody else do that? And do you do the top leg and the top leg, the top and the bottom, or just the top? Because they do recommend just the top, but I do both when I can. Just the top. Oh, only when you do B5200. Yeah, it's just been a habit of mine since I learned about it many, many years ago. I'm also working on... So when this is done, the next thing I will be working on is a just cross stitch ornament because I do one of those a month. And the one that I will be doing this month is from the 2004 issue and it's the Shepherd's Bush. Because I already had the fabric and the floss pulled for it when the magazine first came out. And just never got around to it. So that's all next as well. And then my regular um, Garan Totten Bags Facebook group is part of Sunshine Stitchers and they're, they focus on either a theme or a designer every month and this month it is ink circles and so I am going to be working on an ink circles from one of the just cross stitch Halloween issues. And I had already started it back in, I think that's the one I started back in December to do as 22 no, no New Starts. So I have, <laughs> I have so many ideas for cross stitching that I want to do a list, but I don't want to start them all until I finish off a bunch of these whips that I've had for years. In fact, I have one that is my oldest one from 2001, and that's Rocky Mountain Christmas by Marty Bell. And I think on my whip go board, I have written down, finish it. But I've got to really pay close attention to how much stitching there is to finish it because it might be too much. So I might have to switch it up and just put in seven days to stitch on it instead. Because everybody's always changing things. And watch your lives. Start them all. We can't take with us. Start them all. <laughs> yes. Last time I did my live floss tube, I said, st 
start them all. We can't take them with us. Start them all. I did say that. See, that's another fun thing you also could do is to write them all your whips down on paper. I'm a paper person. I love my notebooks and papers and that. And number them. And then get the wheel app on your phone and just do numbers in the wheel and you spin it. And that's what you work on for maybe a whole week. And get as much stitching done that you can. Eventually you'll finish them. Right? Because <laughs> I have, oh my gosh, I probably have 30 pieces of fabric signed up with projects in just the cross stitch Halloween issues that I want to get to. So, yeah, and then I've got the ornament issues also. And then the regular just cross-stitch magazines and the Stony Creek magazines that I want to, I don't have fabrics for those. But what I do have, I mean, I don't need to buy fabric. I'm in fabric of the month for two, and I'm still stocking up on fabric. But I will probably won't sign up for them after um, the new year. Um, I did sign up. I'm on a waiting list for Under the Sea Fabrics. And then once I'm accepted, I'm going to unsubscribe from the other two. Did she get her canned food? Mm-hmm. Pearl is my cat. She's in there telling Scott she didn't get fed this morning. So he just asked me if she got canned food. And I said, yes, she did. And I can hear her in there yelling at him. Like, she got fed. <laughs> She's lying. She's lying. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> this is only April. We're only in the fourth month of the month, and I'm already talking about next year's goals for stitching. <laughs> I don't ever stick with my coloring goals. Never works. But my stitching, I I'm pretty much can. And that's all I want to do is cross-stitch. You know, I want to get rid of most of my coloring books. I only want to keep... You know, I have quite a few. There's probably maybe a dozen artists that I really want to keep their books. But the rest I could care less about now. And so I am doing a coloring weekend soon. And I may do show what I have, what to get rid of, if they want to buy them, if they just want to pay shipping and handling, whatever. Just so there's someone that will enjoy them. Now, I don't know, do any does anybody do giveaways on Twitch. So like if I had some cross stitch giveaways, do they do that on Twitch? I don't know what Twitch allows. I haven't looked into that. Okay. Come up one. I mean, I don't have much for cross-stitch to do for giveaways. Although, I thought of doing giveaways of my finished pieces for cross-stitching. I thought about doing that, 
you would just have to frame it or whatever. It would just be the cross-stitched piece. But I have so much that I thought about doing that. I also thought about buying those scrapbooks and just putting them in scrapbook pages, you know, with some pretty scrapbook paper behind the image. And then I would have them and I could look through them like a photo album. Yep. What time is it? I have 20 more minutes. I have not watched Floss 2 videos this week. So I will be doing that this week. I don't know what I was doing this past. Oh, I, I've been sleeping more. So I get the boys on the bus. And then I go back to bed for an hour or two. And so that kind of throws me all off. Uh, yeah, can watch everything today so then my TV shows will be caught up. I haven't even touched my Nintendo Switch for Animal Crossing since like January. That'll be a mess. Okay. I'm going to have to... Keep working on this section because I have more to do over here. So I'll have to do that before I move my Q snap. Well, I guess you can see the stars. They look better on the screen than what I can see it up close. I'm loving these gnomes. <laughs> and if I went in, somebody on Floss Tube was showing a pirate gnome, and I couldn't find it anywhere. But I did go on Etsy and I put in. I searched pirate gnome and I never did find one, but oh my God, I found more gnomes that I like. More gnomes. I'm like, really? What is it with the gnomes? And I don't want to purchase anymore because what if I get sick of gnomes? Because I still have a lot. So I'm probably not going to purchase anymore. Because I have so many.
and I have so much Halloween. I really, really don't need to purchase. I don't need to purchase anything. I have enough Halloween. I used to have a ton of Christmas. I think I got rid of a lot of Christmas. And um, what else do I have? Oh, I do still have a lot of Mirabilia and Nora Corbett. I have over 100 Hades. So I'm good. <laughs> But, you know, they keep coming out with all this new stuff, and we're all like, well, I want that, and I want that, and I want that. Yeah, I want all the stuff. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 10, 11. Two stitches. Oh, and then another thing that I did was I took my classic <laughs> so I took or no, I printed up I went online and looked up calendars printable calendars and I got April 2022 so I'm like, okay I wanted to make sure I could fit in all my cross stitching. So I finished stitching on Spring Angel on Friday, started the gnome. So usually the gnomes take me like six to six, about six days to stitch. So I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six. And if it takes me a couple more, that's fine. And it, this just cross stitch ornament that I have is only going to take one day. But I have that down for the 21st. And then Happy Halloween, I need to get two days for that. Um, so I have plenty of time to get everything stitched on. Because I do one day per thing after I meet my goals. So, um... Yeah, just cross-stitch ornament I have to do. The Happy Halloween. The ink circle I will probably move after Happy Halloween because that's this month's. So I wrote it all in pencil so I could... Yeah, calendar labs. I don't know where I got this. Let me write that down, though, on the back of this so I remember or next to it. Calendar labs. So for people who don't have the money for planners, there are so many free calendars that you can do this. You know, you could have three of these. You could have one for your cross stitching. You could have one for your coloring. You could have one for diamond paint and whatever because I am an anal person, OCD, whatever you want to call it. What is so funny? He's laughing at me. Why are you laughing at me? OCD? Huh? My OCD? Yeah, kind of sort of. Okay. Let's see, he picks on me. So you, I use that and then I can just write things in with my pencil and if I need to change things, I can. Or you could use whatever calendars you like to use digitally and do the same thing. So I up I had I printed that up and got out I cut it to size to fit into my classic planner and then used my happy planner punch. So it kind of keeps me on track. In this way, you know, if I'm not feeling well or something comes up and I can't stitch for the day, it gives me leeway. 
but I think I'm going to do that every month from now on because I do write I do write in my cal the calendar part like April I already do write in here when I have blog tours and the weekends when there's events going on all that kind of stuff um, 24 hours of cross stitch lawn dog zoom all that kind of stuff all gets written in here so I didn't want I wanted a separate calendar or you could just go to the Dollar Tree and buy a 12 month calendar and do that you know they're cheap at the Dollar Tree that's what I used to do before I knew about planners I would buy the 12 month calendar and I would write in that. Where am I? Mm, I think I... Hmm. I don't know where I am. Two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that was up here. Then I did three. Oh, because I did it this way. Okay, back on to this. And that works for any crafts. You know, maybe you know floss tubers who have a better schedule. Me, it can be my floss tube videos could go up Wednesday. They might go up Thursday. They might go up Friday. But if you have regulars, you know, Sunshine Stitchers, they do theirs. I think they go up every Sunday. Um, just keep stitching. Theirs go up on Sundays, I believe. I don't know, but... There's a lot of them, they have the same days every week that you could even write that in the calendar so you can keep track of your favorite floss tubers or their live streams. Lots of ideas. I can help you out with the ideas. <laughs> I forgot I had to stitch the same in the same row. So I'm just coming back in and filling it in. And this is what I'm going to be doing today, working on this and cross-stitching, well, duh, cross-stitching this, <laughs> doing the laundry and watching TV shows. So that's my goal today, and it's pajama day. It's pajama day. Watch the count. What count? What do you mean, watch the count? The count of this, it's a 88 wide by 126 high. Is that what you mean? On 28 count. Two threads over two. Okay. 
and I marked the center. I marked the center with my um, Pilot Frixion, and it just comes out with heat. So you can use a iron on this or a blow dryer, and it'll come right out. I've been using it for a couple of months now on projects, and it comes right. I use a blow dryer. I don't have to wait, you know, otherwise you have to wait for your iron to heat up. Then you got to wait for it to cool down before you can put it away. This way, I just turn the blow dryer on and it's gone in a minute. And then put the blow dryer away. It's, you know, if I had a big area, like if I used that pen for a hade, I probably would use an iron. It's caught there. And all of my grime guards come, have come from my good friend, Danielle, who I appreciate very, very much. I love having so many different fabrics because I can change them out every month. This, to me, says Easter. It's got all the colors. So I am using this for this month. This is what size? 8x8. Eight eight. This is an 8x8. Eight so, yeah, she's got some more for me, and I actually have her make, I had her make me one because I do have a six by, I have five, I think, six by sixes that I forgot I had. I just found them all again. I found all of my Q-snaps. So, Danielle's been making me all different kinds, and I appreciate it very much. Because then I can change them out. I like being able to change them out. Like I have all my needle minders. I probably have at least 100 needle minders. Some of them are based on season or holidays. And I only pull them out for that season or that holiday. And then they get put away. And am I the only one like that? Probably not. But yeah, I have this cute little bunny. And most of these, all I don't know where I got them all. Some are from down Sunshine Lane. And, oh, this one I really like. It's a rabbit, but it should be a chick inside the egg, but it's a rabbit. Isn't that cute? And then I have a pink M&M. So I only, I use it when I use those because it's Easter. It's an Easter color. And then this I leave out all the time. It's my little hedgehog. And I just stick the needle in one of the little openings and just leave it there when I need to. And I never put my needle minders on my fabric. I don't know why. I just never have because I use the I use a metal board. I use the magnetic board because I only use um, paper patterns. I don't have pattern keeper, and I'm really not interested in it at this time. I'm not saying never, just not at this time. I'm not interested. Yeah, I could put it on the guard as well. That's true. I could do that. So then I could put it on when I first start so I know where the top is of it. See, then I know this is the top part of the fabric. So I could do that too. I just never have. Yeah, the ones you forgot the button on. That's okay, though. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me any. I would have never thought of putting buttons on them. Plus, I have the little... I have this little container of buttons that I got in one of my... Uh, 
my grab bags at one of the retreats. It's cute. It's got buttons, all size purple buttons. Oh, it was a learning thing. Yep, well, see? And then now you write on the fabric, too, what size Q-snap it's for. So that's cool as well. I'm going to start saying goodbye. It is almost 1 o'clock. And I need to go have some lunch and work on the laundry. But I move right along on this. These gnomes are pretty easy to stitch up. And I think we got quite a bit done today on this one. So I've just got this and then I've got a star. So I gotta bring this tail down here and then the star and then I'll move the Q-snap up so I can finish up up here. So thank you all for coming in. I really, really appreciate it. And um, next Sunday, I probably, I probably won't do the next two Sundays because Next Sunday is Easter, and I plan on having my boys here for ham dinner, and then the Sunday after that is my stitch, my um, cross stitch weekend for the 24 hours of cross stitch. So I won't do my twitch then. I probably will do it during the week instead. So I will see all of you guys later. Love you guys. Bye bye.